See it done.
This one calls my name. attack on sight here.
What? Using shrub. Worms take you!
Give me a hand with this. Give me a hand over here!
I must be careful now. Show me. Thor lends me strength.
Det er nok Arsling og Dorte. Det
Come here! with this.
I should be cautious around here.
after, Stiermeier. Sail out! There are sea scold among you. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of Bard Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Halli, called sarcastic Halli by most. Seven Drunk ale horns into his night.
Come! Let the sail out! Run up the sail! More sail! Who will share a tale? During my 19th winter, King Styrbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. He set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. Dropping 40... Only two days. On the third day, a spindly man called Nar was near upon felling his first... He hacked it all the way around like some... We'll pick up from there. <laughs> Yeah. 
Liga erat geras. Sail. Catch the wind. Epic tale. Run up the story. story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this of
Hvað viltu í eilíð? Gud... Það var nógu aðfund að halda af. Flýteir! Why, hello. I am reading the books you procured from Desert. I see... I took the trade post without knowing the cargo. If the... For people who believe in... Always... Ah, uh... Care... We'll close the book. I look...
You're well. What have you? Look at you now. I'm off.
God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord. But what's wrong? Where's Bodith? He's not returned. Nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Do you wish you'd taken up Eivor's offer earlier? Aye. We may have lost three souls for not giving it more serious consideration. Let me go after him, Lord. If Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass. And few Vikings have those. I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port, on the western shore. A fair bit of their trade finds its way to Aljach, so... S Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. They'd not expect... Good. I'll go to Donegal now. If it means fewer lives lost, you have my blessing. Passes to be had. I may well find one here. Go, my eyes.
massive fortress. One cannot help but wonder what's within. Now to see how they treat someone with a king's pass. My pass won't get me into that ring fort. I'll need to find another way. What business have you here? The business of kings. Here's my pass. Go on, then. Who are you to come before the kings of Ilar unannounced? <laughs> Fergal. You're not Fergal. Uh, I don't know you. I am Sturm of Donegal. Who is Fergal? The king of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Sturm, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you know who. But he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes? More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the ring fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Bart, the Ring Fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course, of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Fergal, say hello for me. For the last time, Bart, the ring fort is off limits. If I read Bart is right, freeing Fergal would be key to liberating Allah. And to do that, I need to get inside that fort. The guards here are vigilant.
going down. Come, Come, brothers, let's end this. My thanks. God bless you. Hey, you're Ava, right? You serve King Barrett. We were meant to check on the king and report back. The soldiers grabbed us and threw us in here. I'll let you out. Return to King Flan if you can. There's someone here named Fergal. I oh, am he. Friend. You have my time. Who wants to know, Viking? I serve body.
slowed myself here. Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donal. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donal said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot can move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. He has some companies at Armagh, more men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners, until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but they don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You have outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye.
bomb shot. Side room. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Vardet's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap not yet sprung. Barith believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abaddon? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barith's suspicions? Owen is the abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a... friend. You mean a pagan? Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did. But King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out the clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barrett McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barrett. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen, what's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. They're under attack! Come on! This place is heavily guarded. Not much longer, corpse! I'll chase more heads! You, cousin! Do not wager on it! If we hold off this assault, we will save the day!
use your help, but he's hard. Come with me! I will be your shield! We held them off. At a great cost. Eivord, where is Barith? Barith! Can you... Barith Makiva! Have you seen King Barith? Aye. He was headed towards the farm on the edge of the village. A cold hand grips my heart. Barith. Eivor. I'm here. A glorious end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Except you, cousin. You... you never doubted me. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barith. I'll see to it. Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Siegfried is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. It will be done. A hero's funeral. Arith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. <laughs> but fair. He saw more clearly than I, and I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north, what of Sigfrith? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics! Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterwards... 
The fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Sigfrith's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes. Then Phil me I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove... That's no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flan I'll come to him after I have arranged things with Sigfrid. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Eivor! We will march upon Armagh immediately! This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into Armagh like a berserker, they will crucify you like their Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot! Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flan. The High King will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who is supplying them all? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish if there is nothing more, my king. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can, and join them to Flans. To get- You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men- See this?
lära oss mycket från det sin. Hos ding är sitt jag kurt stund om att hoxa om. Good day. I always. Perhaps that's enough. Another... Better hunder stört vasten. Må vara ett dejer med i mycket eget längre. Men här finns detta allt samman vara mycket kärskimma.
darkness could not hide you. Aver, I'm sorry. Yes. No, it will be once that fa I believe I know. Constantinos has come to Ireland. I will deliver Your offer is a It threatens our trade, does it not? I protect very well. But do not deprive New Very well. Farewell. seen in this area. <laughs> Show me what lies ahead.
Constantinos. The Tsar awaits him. Set up camp here? As good a spot as any. We won't be on this dog shit island long. Just until we collect Azar's head. What quarrel do you have with me? Walk. That is the idea. Your one-time partner is eager to see you. Uh, uh, that thrice-cursed harpy should have been long dead! Save uh. your insults for your reunion. I'd hope to finish you this time. You were always careless. At least I took your eye. And your brother, the sniveling sop. Along with your loud bitch of a screaming mother. Come on, have at it. Let's end this quickly. Quickly? Oh no, 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 my dear Constantinos. This will last a very long time indeed. Why else have I sharpened so many implements? I will unmake you tenfold for what you've done. You make a sorry Cyclops. Damn you to hell! Ah! Ah! Azar. Hogs feed us. Are you at peace? At peace? No. But the world. Many. Enough for today? I look.
lucky stars. God's hair on the tent. I should be cautious around here. Our high king will 
will be pleased. These would be the arms dealers, the Sars spoke of. I must approach carefully. So the abbot leads the children of Dano, both Druid and Bishop, but God will greet him at his death.
Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amar, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amar? We do, thanks to Sigfrith. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. You cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them I that... May. I think in this case, some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clocha, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well, to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Almar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There's something else. Abed Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they're all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Seek for them. Choose a good view, dear poet. Thank you for not seeing anything about my the past. Is past. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do you do? Once I've had a chance to finish it. It's good to see you take It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Siegfried. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord. In the core. Come. Let us flush out this false abbot with it. Yes. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right. No other choice! Breach that gate! The bridge is down! My Norsemen are ready! Leave the barbarian to me! God will give me strength! God, brother, tell me! Come back here! They're in this 
for all to see. of God, Flanchina. Or be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are... Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess. But she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flan. He tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. <laughs> you lie, devil! Huh. Love conceals blemish and evil. Huh? There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot! Not to let 
Let your cattle breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, devil. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you about the children of Dan? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words. But could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. If she was part of that cult, she isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, this fetid air befells me. It is a beautiful land. We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. <laughs> they will sing of the High King who cleansed the church at Armagh, and the King of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered. The dead. What has happened? They have summoned Flan. I hope he shows soon, if only to end this bickering. <sighs> Speak. Lord, there has been much deliberation these last few days. News of Owen has spread like a mountain fire. The people are frightened. We are unsettled, to say the least. A trusted abbot unveiled as a pagan conspirator. The druids have permeated the church at the highest level. There's no telling how far down it goes. Something must be done. We must rid them of this land. Begin an inquisition. How dare you speak like this? Owen acted alone. He belonged to a sect. There are others like him. Do you deny it? I do not deny it. But then you will speak only of the children of Danu. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, how can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Flom, I do not like what these men are implying. Do not entertain this. You would presume to tell your king what to do. You 
who share those druid roots. You even know this sect by name. Perhaps, like Owen, there is more to you than meets the eye. Bastard! Enough! Speak to her like that again, and rats will sup on you. Alive. Apologies, my king. Poetess. I do not mean to cast suspicion. We do not know from where the next threat will come. And we cannot simply hope that it will not come. We must put aside our differences and come together as... Flan, if you do this... I know well where you stand, Kira. Are there any others who wish to speak? I will. This gathering shows us something very clear. That there is solidarity in this cause. If we do nothing, the weeds will continue to sprout, leading to unrest across the kingdoms. But if we act, begin an inquisition... It will lead to unity this land has sorely lacked. These are my people, Siegfried! And there are those within who threaten the very fabric of this land. Can you reason- Anyone else? What is being proposed is a bold strategy, the consequences of which cannot be properly weighed just now. You must allow time to reflect, Lord. Every moment we waste weakens our position. Lord, we kings are all in agreement. There is but one move to make. We will launch an inquisition. Every druid will arm <sighs> or exile. The future of Ireland is a holy Christian. Where did Kira go? Set off for her house, just down that road. Looked mighty upset. Kira is not of sound mind. I need to settle her down. Kira! Get out! Leave me be! What is this? What are you doing? Flan, the spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You are right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it is you. Oh, I will. Whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivor. I cannot let them erase us. Eivor! Can you hear me? Eivor! Are you all right? Did did you see Kira? I expected her here. Eivor? Oh. <sighs> what is that? I think it's Kira. It must be. I do not know what she's trying to do, but she's angry. This is my fault. I must speak with her. It may be too late for that. She said she would not let you erase the druids. But what means would she use? The Leah Fall. I think she will try to use it to stop you. A stone? It is an ancient... It is an ancient part of her lineage. There may be more to it than myths and legends. I knew my decision would upset her, but I was certain she could find a way to understand me. It was no simple decision. By choosing one, you betray the other. Choices that weigh heavily require ample time to reflect if you are to find the best outcome. I acted rashly. I listened to frightened men, Eivor. Men whose loyalty I hungered for. 
Clear your head, Lord. We're nearly there. Sword Flon, stay close to me. Eivor, what do we do? Fight! These are my men! It's them or you! Now fight! Back! Get back! They will not listen! Killer has taken their reason somehow! Defend yourself! It's enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless raider, hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With Barith, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He is my blood. 
Ah, oh, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today. Battle heartened over many victories. Do not make me add another. Do as you must. As will I. Never see the Druids into darkness. I pretend to be my ally. I pretended nothing, I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon! No? Look around you. You set in motion what the children of Danu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. Always have been. After Mother died, I became the last. The last who could awaken the Leofal. Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people. The old ways will return. Let...
You may be the key to this power. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of the stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most. Bury the past. Build the future. Until we meet again. Slow. Kira, I bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I failed you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flan. Where will you go? How are you feeling? Bruised. Battered. But I'll live. Though it'll take some... Took a lot not to kill you. If you wanted to, that was your chance. <laughs> I suppose... See to it that Sigfrid's reign is long. And you shall never know me as your enemy. Have you met with the other kings? I take... I have. The Inquisition is buried. High King is a leader to all who share in his land. You help. My only regret is not having understood it soon. You work to secure a future for all. Kira would be pleased with this outcome. I know there is much that awaits you in England, Eivor. But you can set... Farewell, Flan. Until we meet again. What do you think my father would make of all this? Bardith wanted to ensure the Doppelin he left you could stand upright on his... And while he could not see it through... You'd be proud you did. I will never forget what you Our family, Sigfrith. Keep well. And may your father's Huga be with you always with me. I always...
Very well. Fair. What do you have? Take care. Um, Goodbye for. Only a fool would pass this up. Go on, give it a try. This looks practically in bait for you. Anything you find, bring it to me. Dunge what have you got? Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor. Is that ev- I'm off. Until next time, Eivor. I want to see I have changed my I should go
nothing else for you. I have to go. Goodbye, Eivor. What do you see, Zunim? <laughs> 